What's up everyone, James Murphy here from M Coding, back with another video on Python weirdness. Do you know what the comma equals operator does in Python? If you know the answer to this trick question, let me know down below in the comments. Otherwise, here are some choices. In this situation, x is 1, y is the list containing 2, and we're looking at x comma equals y. Afterwards, we're printing out the value of x. So is x the integer 1? Is x the integer 2? Is x the singleton list containing 1? Is x the tuple containing 1 and list of 2? Or is this just a syntax error? Pause the video now if you need some time to think about it. All right, done thinking about it. So do you know what the comma equals operator does? Let's find out by running it. x gets the value 2. Did you get it right? Well, if you're like me, then you probably thought this was just a syntax error. When I first saw this in a real code base, I thought it was a syntax error, and maybe that I accidentally put the comma in myself. Well, that's not true. As you can see, this does something. So if you're not sure about why this printed out 2, let's look at a simpler example. But first, let me give you a hint. I'll run my code formatter on it. Did you see what happened? Here, let me do it again. Ready? Format. It moves the comma. Do you know the answer now? If not, let's just go through it. Here is a simpler example. Suppose um, we have a function, you know, do something, and x is 1 and y is 2, then we can say x comma y equals y comma x. What this syntax does is it will swap the values of x and y. It's kind of doing a little bit of pattern matching. Let me put in some unnecessary parentheses here. It's kind of saying, look at this pattern on the left, x comma y, and try to extract out values for x and y based off of what's on the right-hand side, where you see y comma x. In this case, it kind of makes sense that it would swap the values of x and y, because I would say, well, matching the pattern, x should be the thing inside the tuple, which is at the zeroth index, so that's y, and y should be the thing which is inside the tuple at the first index, which is x. So afterwards, x is equal to what y was, and y is equal to what x was. Well, this would work just as well if this was a list or any other iterable with two elements in it. And here's where we see uh, our previous example, x comma equals y. If you have a list of just one thing, or a tuple of just one thing, uh, the syntax looks a little different. So suppose x was like this. A tuple of one thing in, um, in Python gives you um, the following syntax. You need to have this extra trailing comma after the single element in the tuple, because otherwise it just looks like you parenthesized x. And we don't want parentheses to be creating tuples unless you really meant to. So in this case, if you want the left-hand side to be a tuple, you need to put that comma in. But these parentheses are still uh, optional. So now do you see why x comma equals something uh, gives you the value that it did before? Well, our previous case looked like this. y was 2, and we just said x comma equals y. So now y here is just like we're putting 2 in. 
So it's saying pattern match this tuple of one thing with this list of one thing. That's why x gets the value 2 at the end of it. Make sense now? Is there any real case where you might want to use this syntax? Admittedly, if you're using this syntax, you might be in a gray area. At the very least, absolutely do not format it this way. Put the spaces in the right place. Otherwise, you're just going to confuse people. So I have come up with one case where it might actually you know, make sense to have something like this. Let's suppose that I have two sets, and I know that their intersection has only one element. So just for demonstration purposes, uh, let's say that we have a list of primes, you know, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. And we have a list of evens, which is um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Let me actually make these sets, not lists. Now, I know that the set of evens and the set of primes only has one thing in common, and that's two. So I could say x, comma, equals, with the correct spacing, of course, primes dot intersect intersection uh, with the evens and then print x. So in this case, if I call do something, now we see that, again, it prints out 2. So that's one case where if you know ahead of time that there's only one thing in the right-hand side, then you might actually want to use this comma equal syntax instead of having a temporary variable. You know. Um, intersection equals this, and then x equals um, intersection dot pop to get the one element out. But there you have it. Uh, that's the comma equals operator in Python. Hey, thanks for watching again. Uh, if you like the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I offer online Python courses. So if you would like to learn Python from me, then go ahead and drop your contact info at the link in the description. And I'll let you know when online Python courses are available.